Hey guys, what is up? Is Reaper Jinkai here, back again with another video, and uh, I'm actually doing a top five because I haven't done a top five in a little bit, so I really wanted to do that, and I am happy to bring you this top five. This is my favorite generation, Gen Four, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Honestly, didn't care for Diamond and Pearl. I was a Platinum player. I had a Pearl. I felt like Grinding on Pearl was tedious and boring. And I got platinum and I started to grind it and it just went so much smoother. But anyways, enough of that. Um, brief reasons why I think Gen 4 is my favorite. Ton of replay value. For me, I love the story. It was one of those stories that I could have sat down and listened to a hundred times and never get bored of it. A lot of people said it was kind of bland. Uh, I don't know. I really liked it. Um, and the Pokemon. Um, my favorite Pokemon is from this generation. Will always be this from this generation. I'm going to actually switch our mascot. Um, I originally picked Duskull because I was like, well, I'm Reaper Jinkai. What goes with that? And it's a Reaper cloth. And I was like, okay, well, he evolves with Reaper cloth. That works. But... It, I don't know. I don't like him that much. I'm more of a let's get those glass cannons than a, this guy can tank and stall. But anyways, let's move on to the list. Number five. Weavile. Speaking of glass cannons, I had this on a competitive team. I actually got a shiny one. EV trained it per... Not perfect move set. I think I got Icicle Crash on it. No, no, no. I had a shiny one, but I didn't have Ice Punch or Icicle Crash. So I went breeding, and there's like, eh, I don't want to go breeding for another shiny. But uh, yeah, Weavile, I like it because very quick, very powerful. Um, got some decent coverage. Yeah. That's just about it. I like those glass cannons, and uh, he fits the bill. Number four, Frostlass. Now, Frostlass, I got bored one day. I went on YouTube and started watching uh, King Nappy and Callum and uh, Game Boy Luke, and they all had Wonderlocks. And it's like, you know what? I got a DS. I got a unit. I'm going to do it. And I got a Snowver. Or a Snow Run. Why am I blanking? <laughs> I don't, pretty sure it's one of those two. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. I'm a little bit tired. But, um. And. My girlfriend traded over. Uh, Duskstone for me. So that I could evolve her. Evolver and she is still alive. She went through the holy four. She's like level 74 now, helping me level up the rest of my team for the after story. And I love it. Like, she just sweeps. You got dragon types. Oh, I'm out of uh, ice moves. She's got draining kiss. Oh, you want to send out another ghost type? Eat this shadow ball. It just wrecks everything in front of it. I love her. And I honestly didn't think much of that evolution line until I played with it. Because it was just like, holy shit, this thing's overpowered. So moving on. Number three, Rampardos. Now I know a lot of people say it's Rampardos. And I know it's either Rampair or Rampar. The reason why I go with Rampar is because I used to play golf a little bit as a kid and P-A-R is par so I'm like okay it's Rampardos so I don't know I could be wrong but again glass cannons I've had nothing but glass cannons on this list and interesting fa fact Rampardos has the highest attack stat out of non-legendary Pokemon in the game currently and it is amazing 
I got Rampardos as a crazy dose. It was one shotting things five levels higher than it. I just loved it. It was just, uh, just let me just sweep your team with something. I I just love him. I I don't know why, other than the fact he's a sweeper. <laughs> um, it actually took me so long to use him. Because it took me a while to find to figure out, oh, you gotta go find the fossil. Because in every other game, they kind of give it to you. And after that, it's like, eh, do I really want to use him? I think I had a team of level 50s by the time I got him. And I decided, oh, let's level him up. Why not? And I don't regret a single second of it. He was amazing. Okay, well, let's move on. Number two. Torterra. I love Torterra. Only starter I use from the generation. I tried a Chimchar. Wasn't that impressed with Chimchar. The firefighting thing. I had enough of that with Torchic. And then Piplup. Uh, I don't know. Piplup was good. I've seen. I saw a lot of people using Piplup. So I was like, I really don't want to do Piplup. I tried Chimchar. Let me grab a uh, Turtwig. And I don't know if it does in Gen 4 anymore, but I actually got Turtwig on my Wonderlock, and as soon as it evolved, it learned Earthquake. I'm pretty sure it was like that in Gen 4, so it's like, I don't even have to waste the time to find the TM, or that I have a level. He evolves at level 32. Level 32 Earthquake. He is amazing. I mean... There's downsides because he's kind of slow, but he hits hard. He's got... This is probably the bulkiest Pokemon on this list I like. <laughs> I guarantee you it's the bulkiest Pokemon on this list. But for Gen 4, for whatever reason, I was obsessed with ground types. Going into the 7th gym... I had a Torterra, or actually by the time I got to the Battle Frontier, I would always get the thing to, like, it was the building to where, depending on where the rotation would stop, you would get a different status for the battle, and I would always bring Torterra, Rhyperior, and my number one into the battle, and I'd always get Sandstorm, and it's like, Bring it on! <laughs> and all three of them were ground types, so they just kicked ass in the sandstorm. I got sun one time. It was like, eh, not that big a difference. But I love Torterra. Torterra just carried me through 4th gen until I got my number one. And speaking of them, Garchomp. I freaking love Garchomp. I, number one favorite Pokemon ever. Honestly, if these other four Pokemon were on the list and the story in Gen 4 was crap, I would still say Gen 4 was my favorite, favorite because of Garchomp. Garchomp is a beast. Now, I know there's a bunch of people that love Garchomp, and I know it's kind of overrated to pick him or whatever, but I can't help but pick him. <laughs> like, you gotta understand, back when I played this game, I was on the internet at all. I didn't know there was a huge craze going on about uh, Garchomp. I just found a Gibble one day, and I was like, Holy shit, this thing might turn into something cool. And boom, guard jump. And like, he is so fast, hits so hard. Now that I've gotten in DV training, I give him speed and attack, and I have not run into one thing that isn't choice that outspeeds him. He, I'm sure there are other Pokemon that are faster, but he's... He's just so good. I think on um, Callum's channel, he's doing uh, Egglock right now. And I submitted Reaper the Gibble. I don't know if he's hatched it yet or not. I haven't caught up with it. 
I don't know if he will hatch it. If he doesn't, it's no big deal. Whatever. I'll keep submitting him. And he has, like, Iron Head Outrage Thrash. And... Stomp or Takedown or something like that. I don't know. I tried to give him a really diverse move set, And he's adamant. And it's just like, what more can you ask for? I, I know a lot of people in locks and stuff don't like to use pseudos because they take longer to get to that stage. But that's another good thing about Garchomp. He evolves so early compared to other pseudos. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think he evolves early to late 40s. And I think all other pseudos are 50s to... 65 and 65 is um hydreigon so and hydreigon's really cool too but garchomp's gotta be my favorite so i'm not gonna ramble any longer you guys get the point i like garchomp i actually like all these pokemon very much um but thank you for watching uh leave a like if you like no pun intended or whatever. Uh, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any suggestions. I'm For right now I'm just going to keep on doing the generations. And then I'm going to move on to. Legendaries from each generation. Or just. I don't know. I might do one big video to where it's my favorite. Legendary from each generation. And then I'm going to go on to types. So, have you guys have a good day, week, whatever, and I hope to see you guys next time.